Hello students, in this video we will see the position of coronary sinus and what are the tributaries of coronary sinus. Now we will see the coronary sinus. So the first thing is that coronary sinus present on the posterior part of coronary sulcus. So we have to go on the posterior side of the heart and when you will see the posterior part of the coronary sulcus you will find that this is the coronary sinus. Now this coronary sinus is a largest vein of the heart. What does it mean? That it drains the all venous blood of the heart. As you know that every organ is having arterial supply and the venous drainage. So whatever the venous blood of the heart is there, all the veins will open into this great vein of the heart which is known as coronary sinus and ultimately this coronary sinus opens into the right chamber that is your right atrium. Now there are two important questions that where is the opening of the coronary sinus. So here you can see that this coronary sinus is having an opening near the inferior vena cava. Now this is the inferior vena cava and this inferior vena cava is going to open into your right atrium. Now inside the right atrium you are also having the opening of this coronary sinus. So now this is the first thing that the whole venous blood of the body enters into the right side of the atrium. That's why this coronary sinus is also having the opening into the right atrium but not in the upper part. It is near the opening of inferior vena cava into the right atrium. So when you will open the right atrium you will definitely find this small opening of coronary sinus. Now when you will see the tributaries of coronary sinus, you have to first realize that there is a very important vein is known as great cardiac vein. Now this is the great cardiac vein. Now this great cardiac vein is having one anterior vein on the anterior surface of the heart and this anterior vein which is present on the anterior surface of the heart is present between the two ventricles. This is your right ventricle, this is your left ventricle. So this uh, vein is present between the interventricular groove and this is known as anterior interventricular vein. This anterior interventricular vein continue as a great cardiac vein and this great cardiac vein is also receiving a small vein from the left margin of the heart which is known as marginal vein or left marginal vein and ultimately this is going to drain into the great cardiac vein and this great cardiac vein if you will trace posteriorly you will find that the ultimately continue with the left end of your coronary sinus so coronary sinus you know that it is here you will see the right end of the coronary sinus on its inferior surface you can see that this right end of coronary sinus is having opening inside the right atrium now apart from that there are multiple small tributaries are also there this is known as middle cardiac vein then you have one more vein which is here now this vein is known as a small cardiac vein so when you are writing the coronary sinus the first and most important thing which you should know that coronary sinus present on the posterior part of the coronary sulcus it is a largest vein of the heart and it drains the venous blood of the heart into the right chamber that is right atrium and its opening lies near the opening of inferior vena cava. So this is all for today's class. Thank you.